This may be one of the most prolific crimes happening right now across North Texas. We've been continuing to report on the problem of catalytic converters and them being stolen. And we've got new video tonight showing you the thieves are fast and they are bold. JD Miles has a story that you will only see here on CBS 11. Neighborhood social media sites are burning up these days with posts about catalytic converter thefts that can cost people with high insurance deductibles a lot of money. It's gotten the attention of state lawmakers who are looking at tougher punishments for thieves like the ones we are about to show you. John Counts had no idea how expensive his lunch would be when he walked into a Balk Springs restaurant last Monday. I come up here every day. Up here every day. This is my sister's restaurant. And I come up here for coffee every morning. While Counts and other customers were sitting around at Peggy's Country Cafe, security cameras captured two people parking a car right next to his Toyota Tacoma pickup truck right in front of the restaurant. One of the two walked inside asking if the restaurant sold cigarettes, then went outside and opened the door for another person who got out and slid under Count's vehicle with a power drill. They removed one of the catalytic converters in less than a minute, put it in their trunk, and drove off. When I got ready to go, I come out, I started my truck up, boy, it sounded like a bomb. The security cameras recorded Count's trying to figure out what was wrong with his truck. He finally looked underneath, only to realize he was the latest victim of a crime that a lot of people across North Texas can relate to. I don't like a liar or a thief, and that's what they are. They're no good. They need to be caught and barely, barely punished. That's what a bill in the state legislature is designed to do. A state senator from Houston wants to add organized crime charges to those arrested for catalytic converter thefts and limit those who can possess them to only auto repair shops and salvage yards. It's in response to a 5,300% increase in catalytic converter theft auto insurance claims in Texas since 2019. Thieves can sell stolen catalytic converters for several hundred dollars because of the platinum and other valuable precious metals that are used to make them. Balk Springs police tell CBS 11 News they're still looking for those behind the theft of Count's catalytic converter. It cost this 73-year-old retiree $900 out of pocket to get his only vehicle working again, even with insurance. Well, that could afford it, not. I, I had to pay it. You know, I, I had, I got to have my truck. Uh, it, hurt, it, it did hurt me. Really, the only way to protect your vehicle while it's out in the open is to invest in a steel plated shield to cover your catalytic converter. They're not foolproof and they cost around $300, but they can double the time it takes a thief to do their dirty work. In Mesquite tonight, JD Miles, CBS 11 News. That is horrible. JD, thank you.